All right, welcome to your campaign 20 uh, webinar featuring the lovely Amy Mason. Uh, Cheryl is in Ohio uh, with the leadership training. So my partner in crime is not here, but uh, Amy is going to share some really exciting things with you. She has been on fire with this share the love incentive um, and holding her, her personal sales up too. So um, she's going to talk to us a little bit about that later. But let's jump right in and get started. Um, helpful tips for your Avon business. So it is best to follow corporate and follow uh, leaders and representatives who are successful. I, I think it's really helpful to get the two different perspectives. Um, and you want to always be learning, always trying new things to figure out what works best for you. Um, so Emily's business tips to live a freer life. So if you guys saw, um, I did a, a Facebook Live of our new house and uh, things were not always simple for me. I wasn't always successful. I had a, a lot of failures um, and I want to try and use that experience and some of the lessons that I've learned to help you guys live a life that you desire and not just going through the motions and feeling like you're stuck doing what you're doing just to make money. Um, when you're passionate about your career and you love what you do, uh, the success and the rewards just automatically follow. So um, make small changes so that you're not in a position where you're stuck. Realize what you're frustrated about and uh, put a plan into place of how you're going to get out of that um, because you can. And uh, I was there before and you just have, you can't make drastic changes, right? You have to uh, work at it and uh, the more money you have coming in, the more you can invest into tools and people that will help you be even more successful. Um, so dream big, uh, always be believing in yourself. Um, and I don't mean every single day because we all have bad days where we just throw in the towel. What's important is that you come back the next day uh, and you give it your all again. Um, confront obstacles in life. So if we ignore problems, uh, they just start getting bigger <laughs> um, and they blow up in your face. So you really do need to confront um, anything that's holding you back, the challenges in your life, um, whatever is putting extra stress on you. Um, really take a look at what you can change and how you can make a difference um, so that you can work through those problems and you can help people get through that as well when, when you've overcome it. Uh, take responsibility for your actions. Uh, you know, we're, we're all adults here, so don't be uh, blaming your, your behaviors on your parents. <laughs> um, you have the choices to live the life that you want to live, and the sooner you stop making excuses, the more time you will have to be successful. Uh, write down specific action items daily. Uh, so really ask yourself questions. Uh, what do I want to do today? Oh, I want to send an email to my team. Okay, well, what are we going to send an email about? Oh, I want to tell my team about this new incentive that Avon's doing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to send, and here's the people that I'm going to send it to. Um, so the more specific and detailed you get in what you're going to do, uh, the more, the quicker you can get it done and the easier you can tell other people what you did so they can duplicate that. Do what's most important first. So 
a lot of the items that come to the top of our mind are not going to be the things that move our business forward. Um, so before you sit down and start to work, ask yourself, what would be the next best thing that I could do that's really going to help my business advance? Um, not just what you think you're busy with, like uh, checking email and checking vibe, um, actually taking actions uh, that are going to improve your business. Uh, stop making excuses. So that's kind of a, a training coaching thing that you have to do with yourself because I think we all are uh, in the habit of making excuses. I feel like our first reaction is to always say no and come up with a reason why we can't. Um, I encourage you to commit, um, say yes more often and figure out a way that you're gonna be successful with it. Uh, be generous, pay it forward. Uh, I know that's hard to do when you're struggling, but it doesn't always have to be monetary. Um, do something nice for someone else. Uh, it just makes you feel better, puts you in a better mood, and uh, you can have a more successful day. Take small steps toward big goals. Uh, so maybe if you're working a full-time job and doing Avon on the side, uh, maybe the idea is to build up your Avon business to the point where it's taking over your main job's uh, income so that you can make that transition. Uh, so don't just go quit your uh, awesome paying job <laughs> um, and try to make it big right away. You have to take smaller steps to get out of situations. Um, so that you can have more freedom in your life. Uh, hire help or use technology for non-income producing activities. Um, so my business didn't always make the money for me to be investing in my own uh, tools that I use. Uh, so slowly I started uh, replacing some of the activities that I did with either technology or with an employee. And it was always like, okay, if I can be making more money than what that costs, it makes sense for me to outsource it or use technology to be more efficient. Um, so I've slowly added people on and removed myself from routine tasks so I can focus on what's most important uh, how I can lead my leaders, and how I can help change lives with the Avon opportunity. Um, I like to still have those high sales numbers and high online sales, um, but I've delegated some of those tasks so that I can focus all, um, almost all of my time on uh, being a strong leader for the team. Um, so always invest in yourself, your team, and your business. And I do mean um, financially and your time. Uh, so if you want success, you're going to have to uh, put in the work that it takes to be successful. I think everyone wants success. I don't think a lot of people, or not a lot, but I don't think some people are willing to put in the hard work and the dedication that it takes to build such success. Uh, so be consistent, automate when possible. Um, don't just try a, a method one time and give up on it. Uh, you may wanna try it a couple times to see if you have better results. Um, and some stuff might not be for you. Some you might want to incorporate into your uh, daily or weekly routine. Um, so we talked about tools and technology to be efficient, um, taking risks. Uh, so I am pretty amazed at this point still that Rob said it was okay to like go ahead and open a retail store. <laughs> um, I think maybe he believed in me more than I believed in myself at that point. So um, you don't want to take such big risks like that, uh, but you do have to be willing to push that comfort zone 
um, try things that are maybe outside of what you're comfortable with because that's where you can grow the most. Teach others. So uh, there's, there's something about having to know your material to teach it to other people. Um, so uh, a lot of times I have Cheryl popping in on there and, and she'll ask me questions that I don't even know the answers to um, anymore. So uh, let's, sorry, I lost track of where I was going. Teaching, teaching others. Okay, so there's a difference between reading it saying it out loud, and then actually being able to teach it to other people. Celebrate. You always want to be celebrating. Amy is a perfect guest, and she'll share with us because she is one of, one of the most excited leaders that we have. So she's always excited about something, whether it's her personal life or her team or her own accomplishments. So uh, celebrate. Uh, that is where you're going to find growth. Learn how to be happy for others. Uh, this is a big one. If you have trouble being happy for other people, you may want to look at the mirror and uh, figure out why that is because that's not healthy. <laughs> so we want to be happy for one another and we want to encourage each other to be successful. Um, take care of what you have before wanting more. Um, so some people grow and they just want more and more and more and they're never satisfied. So you have to learn to be happy with what you have before you can take on more and be happy with that. Uh, and don't replace relationships with technology. Um, the best thing that I do with my team members is getting to meet them um, face to face. So uh, technology, while it can help me feel like I know someone through Facebook, there's still nothing that replaces that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, and be present when it's important. Uh, everyone has their face buried into their devices. Um, if you get your face out of there and you socialize um, and you build relationships, uh, that still needs to be a healthy part of your routine. Um, I know when I sit at the computer too long and I don't get up and take breaks or uh, go out and run an errand, uh, it tends to make me crabby. So. Uh, be present when you are with the people that matter. Uh, put your phone down, put it on silent. Um, but I do like to keep the communication lines open. So um, use it, use it uh, in a healthy balance in your life. Um, so Team Momentum is almost 1,400 reps strong. Uh, that is completely amazing. I'm uh, a little bit overwhelmed, to be honest, <laughs> at how many people we've been adding lately. Uh, but it, our whole team dynamic has changed where um, my leaders are supporting each other. If, if I can't get on and answer a question, someone else pops in there and answers it for them. Um, so I no longer feel inadequate for the size of our team. So um, I hope you guys build your own teams and uh, see what a great community that can become. And of course, uh, it wasn't always like that in the beginning. There was a lot of um, crickets <laughs> in the beginning, but I kept doing my newsletters, kept communicating, um, and eventually that changes. So. Uh, here we are at Rep Fest. Uh, so exciting to see so many of you there. Rob's doing his little Playboy pose in the front there. <laughs> um, and then this is our team for the PC Tribute, tribute Retreat. Um, so for those of you that are shooting for President's Club this cycle, I really encourage you uh, with this small team, I was able to bring us all in so that we went to the same celebration. Uh, and it was really just an incredible uh, thing to be there with each other. So uh, push for President's Club. I 
Don't know how many team members are going to have achieved that and what I'll be able to cover. But um, I definitely try to reward and uh, reach out to the top performers. Um, I try to provide support for everyone. Um, but when you're excelling, I, I try to uh, work with you even more to help you achieve your dreams with Avon. Um, so we have sold uh, almost 1.8 million for the year. And uh, I know 4 million is a little high, <laughs> but um, I always try to reach high. And if I don't quite make it, uh, I'm still happy with the results. So we uh, have almost a $700,000 uh, sales increase and with double dollars and all the amazing products coming out. Um, I'm just super excited to see where the rest of this year takes us. So congratulations in campaign 17, we had over 109,000 in unit sales. We were number 24 in the nation for that campaign, and we are number 30 for year to date. Uh, so I'd like to include a little bit about what I'm doing, what I'm doing with Avon, my family. Um, so this is another picture of all of us at RepFest. Uh, I hope you guys all sign up for RepFest. It's in New Orleans, and yes, we have a new Playboy in the front on this one. <laughs> That's Sarah's husband, Anthony. Um, but please sign up for RepFest. Uh, if you feel kind of alone in your business, you don't feel the support, the team camaraderie, um, I promise you RepFest will change that for you. So please make plans to be there uh, next year. Start putting a little bit of money away uh, every month if that's what's holding you back. Um, as far as taking risks, uh, there have been so many times where I've been like, oh, I don't really know anyone. I don't, I don't feel comfortable traveling by myself. Um, you know, you can come up with so many different excuses. But it was when I started saying yes and committing to those big risks where I made sure that I, I made up for it, whether that was financially or um, just growing my business even more from being at that event. Um, so your life path is more in your control than you realize. So um, please make plans to be the rep fest. We got uh, amazingly up close to Rascal Flats. It was uh, so much fun. I had never seen them before. Rob kind of turned me into a country rock fan. I, I never loved country before, um, but he's made it kind of grow on me. So uh, that was so much fun. The kids started school today. So we have Ava and Josh. Ava, second grade, Josh, sixth grade. He was at middle school. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just amazing how your kids grow with you in this business. So um, I've been so fortunate to be able to uh, earn so many rewards, have flexible time, um, taking, you know, all expense paid vacations. This really has turned into my ideal life. So I hope you guys that aren't making it financially yet, uh, see that opportunity and you don't give up. Um, because at the place I am right now, I do not regret a thing. So it might not always be worth it when you're pushing, but uh, pretty soon it gets easier and you really are like living your ideal life. So uh, here's Rob and I, and congratulations to all the fabulous leaders who uh, made us number one in the nation on leadership development. I hope to uh, mentor many more of you this year. Um, and then I made uh, some canvases for my office. So uh, you guys that have been around for a while know that the office has been on my wish list, my dream board, and now I have it. So I'm going to be very particular about how I decorate it. And uh, besides the confidence and the freedom of time and all the other benefits that are uh, intangible, 
we have also upgraded into this beautiful house. Uh, this was my older minivan and now I drive a Toyota Highlander. So um, you do get to reward yourself. Uh, I think a lot of times I put other people before myself. Um, so I'm super proud of this house and being able to contribute uh, to being able to live here uh, with Rob and the kids. Um, so looking ahead at our campaign 20 important dates. So the face-to-face -face ordering we're going to sell September 5th through the 18th. And our online store um, always switches over. Happy anniversary. Did I miss someone's anniversary? Oh my gosh, Sarah. <laughs> Congratulations. Two years with Avon. Yay. You've come so far already. Um, so our online store switches over to campaign 20 the day before the face-to-face -face selling starts. Um, and then you always want to try and catch the live streams if you can. Always catch the Avon corporate events uh, if you are free. If you are not, go back to it later in the day and watch it and share that. Um, so, so many exciting things happening. Uh, who wants $150,000? <laughs> That's how much Avon is giving away. Um, the biggest prizes are $25,000 uh, in each region. So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit later how you have a chance to win that. Uh, please switch over to Avon, your Avon 2.0. I know that we uh, resist change. But the sooner you do it, the easier it will be for you. Uh, change is just um, uncomfortable for most people. <laughs> but try to have some patience uh, and see the benefits of it. Uh, we received an inventory communication today that uh, not only is it just like the look of this new website, but it um, it processes your order through Zanesville, um, so it has a much more complex inventory measurement of what's actually available than the old Your Avon. Um, so there really is a benefit to switching over and having more real-time information for your customers. Um, and Sarah Robeson, thank you Sarah, did a uh, tutorial. And uh, with her permission, I will share that with you guys. Um, and fundraising opportunities. So there's uh, two new opportunities with um, a votive set. They're really, really nice. And the hedgehog. So um, I just ordered him so I get to have an example. Um, and I have the fundraising deluxe kit too. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, Representative Appreciation Month, there's still stuff going on every day, so get involved. And tomorrow, I believe, yes, tomorrow is our August virtual sales meeting. So jump on that if you can. If you cannot, register so that you get the recording. Here is our flexible ordering schedule. And we want to know our fees and our business expenses uh, so that we can be profitable. Uh, welcome to all of the newest beauty bosses. I'm so excited that you joined. Um, and I think that you will love this team. There's so much support and friendship. Um, I've really just seen it blossom over the, the past couple of months. So. Welcome to all of our newest beauty bosses. Uh, you've made a great decision to join Avon. So like I mentioned, uh, learning from corporate and from your peers. Uh, so you can look up your uh, regional Facebook page and connect with reps that way. Um, you can check out the recognition reports to see what the top, top are doing. Um, be a little nosy and try to pick up on their good habits uh, so that you can make your way to the top of those lists. And of course, visit Avon U. 
Um, can we buy one of the fundraiser votive sets? Um, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> um, there is a fundraising hotline number. Maybe someone uh, in the chat knows that and can uh, list that in the comments. Um, so brand new representatives, you have this opportunity that nobody else has to sell this daily care collection and it is available for you to sell in your first seven campaigns. Um, so if you're feeling like you're not ready to take on all the products in the brochure, um, start with this one set. Become really good at selling that set. Uh, Skin So Soft, I guarantee probably nine out of 10 people already know what that is. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Skin So Soft. I haven't been able to get a hold of it lately. Uh, so people do love our products. Uh, you just need to be there to say, I'm ready to sell to you and uh, follow up with great customer service and um, keep adding and adding more customers. So town and country is where you can buy logo items. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Vistaprint. So the Kickstart program is going to be, um, these are gonna be your goals and what you wanna hit at a minimum uh, in your first seven campaigns. And the more you climb and the better you do each campaign, the more momentum you'll have going. You'll be more excited, you'll sell more, then you'll invest more and more brochures. <laughs> it's just um, all these good things are gonna start happening. So uh, this uh, little slide here is what you can um, text, you can post it on social media. I really recommend buying it yourself too and doing some live pictures uh, maybe you want to do a Facebook Live, upload it to YouTube. Um, people like to see the real pictures and they like to know that they're buying from a real person, a real representative. So uh, don't be afraid to show off your stuff on Facebook and email and even by having a grand opening. Um, so the more ways you reach out to people, uh, the more likely you're going to have success in the beginning. Um, so congratulations to Jenny, Rena, Brittany, Jennifer, Tressa, Essie, Susan, Pamela, Melanie, and Samantha. You guys are doing amazing. Um, and if you are not doing amazing, just keep hanging in there and try different things. I was not successful for a year. Um, and now I've grown this huge team. I've been able to do so many amazing things with Avon. Um, so it's not always easy. I don't want you to ever think that it's uh, su super easy. Uh, we do have a lot of brand recognition and fabulous products. Um, so once you get people to try them, they keep coming back to you. Uh, so here are our uh, top reps who are not yet President's Club, but they are soon to be. Um, I saw Terry on the call. We have Terry, Rachel, Wanda, Angeline, Becky, Doris, Marissa, Ellen, Barbara, Angel, Tracy, Patsy, Katie, Kimberly, and Betty. Um, so this is where we want to be tracking at the end of 18. And if you're not quite there, that's okay, because this is estimated at every campaign being exactly the same. So we all know Christmas sales are gonna shoot up. Um, so you have an opportunity to make up for that in these last campaigns. Um, congratulations to Leisha and Bridget and Kelly for reaching President's Club and Kimberly for reaching Rose Circle. Uh, so exciting. And now we have our guest of honor, um, Miss Amy Mason, and she started selling Avon in July 2016. Um, Amy is in my second generation under uh, Kim Karkowitz, 
Amy is a silver ambassador. I know that's soon to change because she's just been adding people left and right. 36 personal appointments in the last 12 weeks. Uh, and then she has team members appointing people too. So with that, uh, 16 more appointments in the last 12 weeks, uh, a 72% sales growth. Let's hear it, Amy, what are your secrets? <laughs> Thank you, Emily. I didn't realize it was quite that many in 12 weeks. <laughs> yeah. But just a little bit about why I got started with Avon is I had been going through a real bad depression and had some major life changes. And I wanted something that I could do that nobody could ever take away from me. And something that whether I succeeded or I failed, it was all mine. And with that being said, I got started with four customers and absolutely no desire to start a team. After two years, I now have over 100 customers, a team of 44 active members in three generations, and about 38 pending, including the ones we added today. Most of my success I found comes from two primary ways. The first being, as Emily said, my excitement. I let it shine through in absolutely everything that I do. Whether I'm talking to a lead, a customer, or just a friend, I try to let the excitement for what I do shine through. When it comes to leads, I make sure they can feel my enthusiasm. I'm with a company that rewards us at every turn with amazing incentives. And they give us everything that we need to run a successful business at absolutely no extra cost. And when I contact leads, I, when I get a hold of them through email, I make sure every email I send is different than the one before. So I spend a lot of time writing out new emails every time I send them. And when I'm talking to customers, I make sure they're aware of how much I love the products and that I use them all myself. And when I'm talking to friends, they can openly see how much Avon has helped me overcome a lot in life. And I've even got friends that don't buy from me that see how much I enjoy it and refer me to other people. And that's when you know that you're succeeding when people that aren't customers are referring you. I think the other thing that's helped me to be successful is my passion for being organized. I'm fortunate enough that we are empty nesters and I have an extra bedroom, so I turned it into my office. And it is so organized that everybody that comes into my office goes absolutely crazy about it. And my kids say the best way to drive mom crazy is to move something in my office because they know it will drive me nuts. So I have all the goals that I have with my business, I keep those on my wall and they're actually the little index cards hanging up there behind me. So when I walk into my office, that's the first thing that I'm seeing every day. So I know what I'm working towards. And I also have all of our current incentives are hanging on that wall also. So those are there and in my first sight when I'm walking to my desk. And I also like to keep very specific binders. I've got one that's just leadership information. I've got one that's all fundraisers and one that's all customer information. And those two I carry with me whenever I do a show. So if I don't know an answer to something, I've got it right there and I can quickly look it up and show the customer as well. I have, when it comes to all of my leads, I got to where I was getting a bunch of them and we were having, when they were doing the system updates, I would have a day I knew I had follow-ups to do, but the system had crashed, I couldn't get into it, I didn't know what to do. So I developed a system where I divided all of mine out by the alphabet and made a set amount for each day. And then I've got each of them in a box for each day of the week and that's what leads I do that day. So I know before I even pull up anything on the computer, how many leads I have to do that day. And I also have a box where I keep track of all of my inactive team members or all of my closed out leads. And I have another one that's all of my active team members. So everything is right where I can easily grab it and look at it if I need it. I also got to the point I was getting asked a lot by new team members about 
how to order bags, how to order order books, what numbers to call with Avon. So I have all of that right here at my desk also. And by doing that, it makes it very easy to help anybody that needs it. I also use, like Emily, I have a very detailed daily planner. I keep everything in it, whether it's personal or it's business. I've got a grandbaby's birthday party this weekend, a baby shower this weekend. It's all in my calendar because I have to allow the time for my personal life as well. I have a bookcase that sets across from me that I keep all of my on-hand items in it. So if a customer calls, I don't have to dig through and see what I have. I can easily look across my office and see what I've got available if they need it or know when I'm going to order again so they know when they can get it. I've also found a way to streamline all of my order process. I place orders on Sunday, Monday. I will take and lay out every one of my order slips and then decide what size bag I need for that order and lay it out with it. So then Tuesday, when my order comes, all I have to do is unload the stuff in the box and then put it with the appropriate box, bag. My largest order only took me about 15 minutes to sort and bag. So I've got that down pretty much to a science on how I do that so it goes really quickly. And then I also, on my computer, I keep track of all of my personal progress and all of my team progress. I keep reports on there that help me track all of my Kickstart representatives so I can easily see what their goals are each time. And I make, every time we have a new incentive, I have a program that automatically figures all of the totals for that. So right now I have one for the Share the Love that I put in when they place their first, second, and third order to make sure it's in the, de the deadlines. And then it totals them across to see how close they are to the $500 for the $100 starter kit. When we get the information on the Mexico trip, I will make another um, program on there that will track everybody's progress for that trip so I can easily recognize them at the end of each campaign. And by doing that and having everything easy to see, it's made it a lot easier to onboard new team members. And I feel like it's helped me to become a better leader as well. I have started sending out emails at the very beginning of each campaign and let all of my Kickstart representatives know what their goal is. The last Friday of the campaign, I will let them know where they're at with sales as of that point and where they need to be at. Since doing that, I had one team member that thought she had hit her $150 goal, but she was $3 short. So I saved her on that one. And then this time around, she was setting at $39 short. So I'm watching if she's not there, I'll send her another email in the morning because she only lacks $39 of getting the $100 starter kit for free. And it's, it seems to be helping me a lot more. I'm, in the, I'm averaging now having 20 orders or more every campaign. They're not hitting the totals I need to advance, but I'm getting the number of orders. And I've also taken the advice to duplicate myself to my leaders. And I've been working on putting together leadership books for all of my team members once they hit promoter. I gave out my first three at RepFest and got a lot of high praise on the books. So I'm working on putting four more of those together that I'll be mailing out soon. And it just has all the basics they need for getting started in leadership. And then finally, every Monday, before I start doing anything else, like Emily was saying also, I print out my to-do list. And I divide it out by what I've got, my personal commitments that week, any sales-related work, like this time I got on there about getting ready to place my order this weekend. And I also have any recruiting related work. So if I've got follow-ups that I've got to do, all of that is on my to-do list. And by following my calendar and my to-do list, it's helping me to stay on track. And I typically find myself completing more work than what I had planned. And when I put all of that together, that's what's helping me to stay more focused so that I'm able to help my team more that focus more on bringing in new team members and onboarding them to make get them off to a successful start as well.
and that's where I contribute the biggest part of my success. <laughs> that's all I've got, Emily. <laughs> that was so great. Thank you Thank so you. much for sharing. Uh, it's, it's such a pleasure to watch uh, leaders developing um, and to see them picking up those good habits and listening to all my crazy advice <laughs> um, to really make a difference in their lives. Um, Amy is definitely uh, always very organized. Uh, she's, she's really good at recognizing herself and celebrating excitement. I had five appointments today or whatever it is. Um, you have to toot your own horn in this business. <laughs> um, and it keeps that excitement and momentum going. I love how organized and engaged she is. She's at almost every one of our um, elite leaders meetings. Um, so she has that no excuse attitude. She's organized, she's leading her team by example. Um, she showed me her leadership books and it's just, uh, it's great to, to see her um, becoming such a stronger leader. And, uh, you know, I think it's really amazing to hear from team members how uh, Avon brought me out of a depression. Avon uh, was finally something for me. <laughs> um, I think a lot of us really struggle with uh, you know, the emotions and the, the family work life balance. Um, so what Avon can do for you uh, and your self confidence and feeling independent uh, is even more amazing than the rewards that you can earn through them. Um, I shouldn't be saying that when I'm showing Hawaii right now. <laughs> um, but uh, Avon truly does reward you for working really hard. Um, you can't just dream and wish for it and uh, be upset that you're not included. You have to put in the time and the energy uh, to build something bigger than yourself. And that takes time and dedication and resilience. Um, so keeping track of yourself, holding yourself accountable, uh, rewards and recognition. You can read all about the president's program here. This is 2.0. So if you're in the older one, you need to upgrade. <laughs> um, it's better to get used to stuff right away, okay? Uh, you're closer than you think. So check your PRP tracker. You can see where your sales are, um, how much you need to hit the 10,000. Divide that by how many campaigns are left in the cycle. Uh, we end at campaign 26 for those of you that are newer. Um, so start planning now. Don't be scrambling in December to get to that 10,000. Uh, I hope your plan is already in place. And if not, uh, that's one of the first things you're going to do after this call. Um, so the top 20 in sales. Um, we have some really big sellers. Kimberly, my goodness, <laughs> 70, 200 almost. That is amazing. Uh, Wendy, 4,200, Julitza, Kelly, Cheryl, Brandy, Leisha, Bridget, Peter, Katie, Trisha, Terry, Wanda, Chandra, that rhymes, Jane, Margaret, Agnieszka, Doris, Christina, and Joyce. Um, I hope you find the area of the business that you love. Um, I, of course, recommend taking advantage of all the opportunities. Um, and you can build a strong, solid business uh, even faster when you have uh, multiple income streams coming in through your Avon business. Um, so some sources of information, um, just a lot of exciting stuff happening. Uh, those of you that are newer with Avon, um, it's a really exciting time to be here. There's uh, new stuff coming. There's uh, an amazing Los Cabos trip that is going to be an incentive. Um, so really start building your excitement now 
and uh, having consistent, successful campaigns every two weeks, um, that's when the incentives and the rewards start, uh, start coming in, okay? Um, so you, you don't wanna just have really good campaigns when an incentive is happening. Um, you want to be successful so when those incentives start, uh, you're already on your way to achieving. Um, so you can find information in Avon Social. Uh, so that's gonna be your social media posts, uh, videos, all kinds of different content in there. Campaign Insider is going to be your briefing on the campaign, uh, the products that are being featured, some tips for selling and recruiting. Uh, fundraising, now is a, a fabulous time to be looking for fundraisers. School just started. Uh, this is when the PTO is looking. Uh, they have those fundraisers like built out many months in ahead. I, I know that my kids do them like almost every month it feels like. So there is fundraising and it is out there. Get your business card and flyers out there now to start uh, taking advantage of those. Um, our own website, that may not be a source that you really think of, but I use that a lot for product information and uh, for any products that I wanna learn more about. The Avon Insider blog, and then you wanna follow Avon on all of their social media channels. Um, so how can we build those online sales? Uh, this label is what I like to include to attract those face-to-face -face customers um, as an online customer, if they prefer to order that way. Um, some people are against it. Uh, so you want to always be offering uh, your, your face to face service, your website and the opportunity to join your team. So I hope that with every marketing piece you hand out, you have information about, about all of that and fundraising. Um, you really want to make the most of those sales tools that you invest in um, so that you are really building that business. Um, saying thank you, providing good customer service. I know those are super simple things, but they are things that are not very common anymore. <laughs> so if you can provide good customer service and stick with your customers, they will be so loyal to you. Um, so take the extra time to say thank you uh, that's how you get those referrals that Amy was talking about, by providing good service and uh, being consistent and accountable. Um, I don't know how many times I've heard from customers, uh, I called and left an order and my Avon rep wouldn't call me back. Um, I hate to hear that because it looks bad on the whole brand. Um, and that's not the sort of image that we wanna be putting out there. We wanna take care of our customers, make them feel appreciated, and continue to offer them our service. Um, so putting labels on there, using that welcome 10 code to attract online customers. Every customer can use that just one time, um, so it's a great way to get new customers to your website. I like to do the neon label because it makes it stick out. Uh, and then you can go on to your website and every single product page has these share icons on there. Um, so try to rotate what you share about. Don't just always do makeup uh, because we have fragrance customers and we have people that love the fashion. Uh, so really try to rotate your content. Um, and then we have free shipping on $40 orders. Um, so you may even, if you're transitioning from uh, providing face-to-face -face customer service and you're going all online, maybe you wanna walk your customer through how to place that order on your website uh, so they feel more comfortable with that and they see how easy it is. Um, congratulations to our top e-sellers, Wendy, Jane, Jennifer, Peter, 
Susa, Terry, Shibanda, Tammy, Marilyn, and Jillian. Um, you'll see a lot of the same people are on these lists. Uh, so they're really getting out there, making the most of their business and bringing in uh, as many opportunities as they can. So I'm super excited about the Aspira Kids line that is coming out. Uh, they are going to be vitamin, um, let's see, are they gummies? I think they're gummies. Are they gummies, Amy? Usually I pick on Cheryl. <laughs> I won't put you on the spot. Chewable, okay, thank you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, my kids are loving the kids' bath products. I have a picture with Ava um, with the slime. I gotta post that. So as a representative, please invest in these new products. Um, yeah, so it's chewable tablets uh, for your kids. Um, and my kids aren't always the best about eating their fruits and vegetables, so they will be taking those. <laughs> Um, but always be using the products for you and your family at home. Uh, there's nothing better than loving the product yourself because then you come across as very genuine and not really trying to sell someone. It's, it's more of a back and forth conversation. Um, so I found the more I know a product, the more information I have on it, the more comfortable I am selling it. Um, so I didn't used to be a great salesperson. I used to be scared to death of recruiting. So if you are not there yet, keep taking baby steps and uh, improve your skills and be more comfortable uh, with just talking and uh, really sharing your Avon business every day. The breast cancer walk, I'm actually going on Thursday to our kickoff breakfast. I'm really excited about it. Um, I would love you guys to come visit me and walk with me. It's October 13th in Rockford, Illinois. Um, we have a Team Avon, so even if you are not on my team, you are welcome to join that team. Um, we have, I think we have like over seven, seven or eight hundred dollars raised already. So um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, start planning how you're going to do a fundraiser. Um, it just feels good to give back. I'm going to set up a table um, with the breast cancer products and put all of the profit towards our walk. So um, get involved in something bigger than yourself. Uh, the more success you have, the easier it is to be able to get involved. Um, but commit to those things if you can. Um, if you can't, you're more than welcome to make a donation um, just to help uh, breast cancer survivors and those that are going through it. Um, it's, a, it's a huge uh, issue with women and some men. And Avon has always been a strong, uh, strong, it's always been part of our foundation. Um, and we've kind of switched to partner up with the Cancer Society. So we are now the national uh, presenting sponsor. So it's a huge deal. I would love to see you guys get involved in your local walk um, or come and visit me in Rockford. <laughs> um, so every one is saying everyone's having a breakfast. We are having our kickoff tomorrow evening. Good. So find and find the information in your area. Um, reach out to Avon if you can't find it and uh, get involved. So we have a new fragrance line, Velvet, coming out. Uh, so that is always fabulous at holiday time. My fragrance sales always shoot way up. Uh, get your demos or your samples on hand. You guys got to be prepared to sell. Um, and especially with fragrance, we want to have samples or demo bottles um, so that we can sell it. Uh, they do have the, the scratch and sniff in the book. 
um, but it's better to have it on hand. And I really think you're best off buying the bottle and uh, getting some of those perfume strips or even cutting your own. You can buy a cardstock, like 20 pound cardstock, and it's uh, not that flimsy paper. 20 pound might be wrong. <laughs> I'll look it up for you though. And um, just buy cardstock and you can even cut your own. So um, don't let finances hold you back. There's always creative budget ways of doing it. Uh, Halloween is coming. So that's super exciting. I love uh, the fall products and uh, the changing of seasons. So um, the Hydra Fusion is awesome. I've only tried the serum so far, uh, but I can't wait to get my hands on the IV puffer. <laughs> um, really cool products made of raspberry antioxidants. Um, just really moisturizing. I tried the gold mask, the gold peel off mask, which is a new um, for the first time tonight. And then I put on the, the Hydrofusion Serum. And then I put on my Vital, and my skin feels so soft. Seriously, you guys, you have to try it. Um, I love that we have new, a new products coming out. Uh, try to get skincare customers. Buy those samples. Uh, give each of your customers two or three samples so that they get hooked and they keep coming back to you. Um, so every campaign, what are you going to demo? What are you going to buy to try for your family? Um, what sort of opportunities can you use to buy Avon? So if you have a birthday gift you need to give someone, or you've got to bring um, a housewarming present, or candles are perfect. So uh, sometimes you want to be creative with your Avon sales, and rem remember that we get a huge discount, so you can use it in all areas of your life. I love these body care collections. They smell so good. And I also love the package design. The Aspira Ideal Cleanse, uh, I tried that back in the spring. Um, it, it's a really nice thing to do to reset your metabolism. Um, so with the kids going back to school, I was actually able to work out for the first time um, in a couple months. <laughs> Um, so now is a great time to get into new habits, new routines. Maybe you want to kick off your diet with the Aspira Ideal Cleanse. Um, so read your What's New books, your demo offers. Uh, there, I was just looking at the What's New 20, um, and if you commit to that bigger uh, level, you get, uh, I know you get a free gold mask, um, you get a couple other free uh, new products. So um, again, like I said, kind of taking that bigger leap, leap of faith, a calculated risk. Um, okay, I'm going to buy nine of those. That means I got to sell them. Um, so commit to stuff and then don't let yourself down. That's how I've gotten ahead. I like commit before I even think about it. And then I know I'll figure it out once I'm committed. <laughs> um, so there is a micellar water, hopefully I pronounced that right, um, a gel cream, which I love because it's, uh, I don't know, it just has really nice texture to it, the de-puffing eye serum, and the in-shower mask. Um, so that is new to me. I have not heard of that before. Um, so Amy's saying you get the, a new ultimate line and the gold mask. So um, that's if you commit to the bigger uh, demo opportunity in what's new 20. Um, so if you guys already submitted your campaign 18 order, you can still order out of the what's new 20 in campaign 19. Um, and this chart is really helpful. I love sales charts to have tools in your hand so you don't have to know all the information, you have something to refer to here. Um, and if it's a new trend, like I have never heard of an in-shower mask before breakfast, um, don't be scared to try it. That when Avon came out with the contouring stick, that was the first time I ever tried it. Uh, 
And there's so much information out there online on how to do it. Don't be scared. Okay, salted caramel, pumpkin, autumn. I love it. <laughs> what is your favorite scent? What are you guys going to try? Um, so I encourage you to try at least a new product every campaign. So um, you can come up with a few, a couple extra dollars to try something new out of what's, every what's new book. Um, use it as a reward. Okay, if you hit your sales goal, you get to buy two demos for yourself. <laughs> um, I think a lot of us do Avon because it's something that we have. It's like for us. <laughs> um, so reward yourself for good work and uh, be excited about your progress. Um, so there's the ideal cleanse. Don't be scared of Aspira either. Um, read all about it. And, uh, you know, if you, if someone asks you a question and you have to say, I'm not sure, let me look, um, they'll respect you for that so that you're not just making up information so it looks like you know what you're talking about. Um, then you can go do your research, be prepared, and show them how helpful you are by um, teaching them about that product. Um, so double dollars. I can't wait for uh, first for campaign 19 because I know uh, Team Momentum is going to rock it, who was at Rep Fest. Um, but there is another opportunity for everyone to earn double dollars uh, campaigns 22 through 26. Um, you will earn it for one of those campaigns. I got a little too excited when I saw this at first and thought it was for all four <laughs> um, or five. It's a five. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the idea is to keep doing better. Um, so how are you going to do better? Order more brochures, order more, more demos, more samples, uh, promote your online store more. Uh, you always want to be building and comparing yourself to your prior performance. So um, see how high you can get it. And Avon will double whichever campaign was the highest. Um, so those of you that are new, double dollars does not mean that you're going to earn double commission. Um, or if you're a new leader, your team's uh, sales are not going to count for double for your leadership requirements, but it is going to count for double for your president's program. So if you're going for that president's club of $10,000, um, you want to make the most of your double dollars campaigns. Um, so if you're at like 5000 in sales and say campaign 22 is your best one. Um, if you have a $2,500 campaign, it will double to 5,000 and you will be at President's Club. Um, so once you hit President's Club, you automatically start earning the guaranteed 40% earnings. So um, that will go into effect for uh, this cycle, the remainder of this cycle when you achieve it, um, and then the whole next cycle. Um, so look at the big picture. How, what can I do to make President's Club? Um, and you, of course, want to play by the rules and just do um, as much as you can to sell a bunch. So there's all kinds of creative ideas out there by other representatives um, doing a buy one, get one sale. Uh, so maybe you don't make the money, um, but it does help you get to President's Club. Uh, think of ways that you can do group selling. So um, start signing up for vendor and craft fairs. Um, I like to try and get out there in front of groups of people um, because then you have a lot of contacts and you can work on uh, getting to know them and them being a customer or a team member. Um, fundraisers. So even if uh, the fundraiser is a lot of work and you're really generous, so you give them a lot of the profit, 
Um, think about having a hundred new people that you can follow up with and see if they need an Avon lady. Um, so don't just look at the immediate results. Look at the big picture um, and really plan now on how you're going to get in front of groups of people at holiday time. Um, so here's some ideas, uh, campaign 22 main brochures, shopping from your what's new, uh, see how many of the velvet bottles you can sell. You can do your little pop up and sit at a restaurant and have that on the table and your pre sample sign with lots of books and business cards and have people come up to you. Um, Ooh, take advantage of your A box. So even if your customer doesn't want it, get it for yourself or uh, get it and break it up as customer gifts. Place a $20 order next campaign and receive a free gift. Um, so really be creative in rewarding your customers and taking advantage of the different deals. Uh, promoting your online store and then fundraising. Okay, so how are we going to rake in the cash? Um, so first, you could earn entries by buying your campaign 19 brochures, which I know you guys already all have. Um, so you're going to receive entries when you have a sales increase over last year's campaigns. Um, if you did not sell last year or you didn't submit an order in that campaign, um, your base is going to be 100. So if you submit a $500 order in campaign 20 this year and you had a $100 order in campaign 20 last year, that's a $400 sales increase. You're going to get four entries. Um, so Avon is going to do drawings. Uh, bi-weekly, um, and I think that's going to be on their Facebook live stream. So um, they're doing a lot of exciting drawings, and uh, I think someone today got a $100 credit. Um, so have fun and, and get involved in these incentives and um, the whole appreciation month. Just join in the excitement. Um, it'll help you get your momentum going and have a fabulous attitude to rub off on the people around you. Um, so here is how you earn the locket. Uh, based on your sales, you're gonna, they're going to give you a goal um, this much over last year of what you hit. Um, so I personally never got the email, so I would be calling the leadership desk um, to get my goal. Um, there's also supposed to be a tracker that's going to be on our websites. I think it said uh, this week, like August 24th, um, which give, you know, give a few days. There's a lot going on, so um, they will be able to have it up there for you to track your own progress. Um, so here is that August calendar. Um, if you're new to incentives, new to these different programs, my biggest advice to you is to print off all the material and take the time to read. Um, if you're like me and just kind of like skim through stuff <laughs> and then you don't know what's going on. So um, really get to know your incentives and your programs and that's going to be your first step to achieving them is knowing the ins and the outs. Um, so double dollars campaign 19 for those of us that were at RevFest. Um, I'm excited to see you guys all start putting in big orders. Um, let's see, Sarah, I know Sarah's doing a birthday. She's doing a birthday Facebook party. <laughs> and she's uh, giving her customers the, the gift. So uh, think about that. Um, how can you do something for someone else uh, where you guys both uh, get something out of it? Okay, so step up and join Team Avon. 
Here is uh, the information about joining one of the walks. Um, go to Making Strides Walk, and I think you can search for your location by going to that website. Um, if you are not walking and uh, want to donate, I am going to match um, people that donate to me. So uh, I encourage you to get involved one way or another. Uh, the top three representatives who raise the most uh, will, will earn a trip to New York City. So awesome. Um, earn big money with team building. So how much can you earn? What is this? Like, there's a lot of new promoters. So um, really understanding how you can make the most of uh, starting a team and really see uh, the money start coming in. I, I, my opinion is that if you wanna make some good money quickly, your best way is to add to your team. Um, so online sales, they look ideal, right? Cause you're at home. I think somebody said like, Emily just sits at home and gets online sales. Like, no, I work for those. Um, so online sales take time. When you invite people into the business, you can work with them and coach them, and you can earn some really good bonus money. Um, so bringing someone in, if you're still in your Kickstart program, um, you can earn a $50 bonus when that new team member submits $150 first or second order. Um, so it's totally lined up with them achieving their kickstart goal. Um, so instead of saying, hey, you need to put in this order so I get my bonus, <laughs> you coach them on how it's going to make them the most money for their campaigns. Um, if you're not in kickstart, you would get a $20 bonus when they place that successful first or second order. Um, so sponsor bonus, you're going to earn 3% for the life of that team member. Um, that is based on you having to put in a $50 minimum order. Um, so that's the life of the representative that can really add up. Uh, promotion bonuses, those are my favorite. Um, I love seeing my leaders earn those. Um, and once they get one of those, like, then you don't even really have to motivate them as much anymore because <laughs> they start seeing the money and uh, they want it for themselves. So lots of money to be made um, just by having fun and inviting people into the business, helping them get started and being successful. Uh, so this is the compensation plan at a glance. Uh, I like to cover it up um, so that you only see the title right above you. Um, I don't want you to have to take this all in and get overwhelmed and not do anything about it. Um, so it's much easier when you focus step by step. Um, and then it's like, oh, I can do that. You know, that's only adding this. <laughs> Um, so it, it just becomes more achievable when you look at it um, as steps up the ladder. Um, but go ahead and look at the big bonus potential that is down here um, and how much money you can really start making in this program. Um, so uh, lead delegation, if you have an upline and they um, delegate leads, uh, you can't start receiving those until you hit star promoter on your own. Um, star promoter would be when you have two people and they both placed an order. Um, so my biggest advice is to keep recruiting, keep adding people. Um, don't take rejection personally, uh, but try your best to coach and mentor people um, and keep adding. Um, and then as you hit these bigger titles, uh, you can see the promotion bonuses that are available. 
Uh, so focus on always adding to your team. Uh, and then when you get down to the, to the leader level, that's when you want to start developing leaders. Um, but it doesn't hurt right at the beginning to go out and do that recruiting with your team members. Um, make it a, a, group, um, a group activity. You guys can support one another, cheer each other on. Um, don't make it boring and overwhelming. Just have fun with it. Okay, so you can sign someone up by sending them to startavon.com. Your reference code is the end of your website. And you can sign up anyone in the United States. Uh, so think about the opportunities available um, across the country. Um, so why join Avon? What are some of the recruiting tools you can use? Uh, I'm a big fan of recruiting online, uh, but I recommend that you try all the different ways to figure out what works for you. Uh, I remember Amy was like the pro in doing the try it kit. Um, so she was getting all kinds of people signing up um, and her main uh, method was doing that try it kit. Um, okay. so. Here we go. Um, what are we gonna do? Like a little drum roll here. Uh, share the love. You guys have added 535 team members. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> All right. So let's look at our top recruiters. Um, you guys did so awesome in this, and I can't wait to start seeing your team sales jumping, you guys earning promotion bonuses. Um, keep adding to your teams, you guys, because pretty soon Christmas sales will be coming and you won't be so worried about hitting those sales goals. <laughs> um, once you have the people um, and the sales go up, um, that's really what you want to try and focus on right now is, is building that team. Um, and on the sales side, building customers uh, and getting more people to your website. So as a leader, uh, we want to make sure that we're coaching and know our due dates, know the ins and outs of the programs and incentives um, so that our new team members do not leave anything on the table. Okay, so we have lots of new promoters. Uh, congratulations to everyone that has invited a team member into Avon. Um, I am excited to know what happens after this. <laughs> like today's the last day. So uh, make sure you're, you're getting a, a hold of anyone that showed any sort of interest, putting it out there one last time, last chance to get your $10 kit. Um, and then I guess we'll see what's gonna happen after that. So uh, congratulations to all of our leaders and all of the new promoters who have just signed up their first team member. Um, the best place for you to get information is gonna be through Avon U. Um, under the sales leadership tab, there's all kinds of information. Look under your Avon resources in Avon U. There's all kinds of leadership and mentor information. Um, that's where Amy printed some of her stuff out for that binder. Um, so do your research. My YouTube channel, I have a lot of information as well. So I want to help you be successful and uh, get off the ground and running with your own team. Uh, we've had almost 270 appointments in August from 63 leaders. Wow. Uh, congratulations to our top leaders, um, our top number of rep leaders. Um, you guys are just doing so great. I'm so excited for all of you. And I want to finish it with, if we wait until we're ready, we'll be waiting for the rest of our lives. 
Um, so really taking that to heart and looking at the big picture. Okay, there's the big picture. So what are my goals to get to that place? Okay, those are big goals. What am I gonna do every day that's gonna move me closer to that big goal that's gonna change my life, that's gonna change le the lives of my family members? Um, so we all go through the ups and downs of life, having a tough day, a stressed out day, a happy day, an excited day. <laughs> Um, so really push through those and look how big of an opportunity this is. Um, this is a residual income uh, that's going to go on after I do. <laughs> um, so really you have to look at the big picture. It's not just building your income up to six figures for a year. It's building your income up to six figures a year for the rest of your life. So um, start looking at that. That's a, that's a whole different story. So um, I hope you got, oh, Cheryl, look who decided to join. <laughs> oh, I didn't have anyone to give a hard time to. Um, okay, so don't wish for it, work for it. Um, don't have pity parties, you guys. Go out there and achieve your goals and be proud of yourselves. Have fun. Share your excitement and your joy. Be organized and lead others. And you're always a work in progress. Don't compare yourself to other people. Um, work on improving you and becoming a better you. Cheryl's been trying for an hour, darn. Okay, uh, you guys have a, a fabulous, fabulous week. Thank you so much, Amy. Um, you're always so excited and I love that about you. Um, so don't change. <laughs> and I hope you guys all have a wonderful night and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Good night.